Hello, good evening, welcome to Sandy Ainley. I hope each one of you are surviving and surviving, I hope, in a happy or content Ted fashion. Um, cheers, it's my father's brother's birthday today, I got the words out. Um, just to show you the cake I bought my brother, we had a little party here. There we are. Happy birthday to you. I did some of the icing um, art. I did the green and blue star here. I did this yellow star, this yellow star, uh, this pink and yellow star, and that's it. The rest was bought in this manner. Nice cake. Well, my dear friends, I'm not going to go very deep into detail. However, I am going to say that my poor brother had a tough day on my brother's birthday because my mother, who is a challenge, has been assertive with my brother. Now, I'm not going to take sides. However, what I am going to say is that I was a bit angry with my mother because I thought she'd chosen a bizarre day to behave in such a fashion. However, that's my opinion. I may be incorrect, however, however that's what I think. And um, equally so, I tried to help my brother to have a nice day and hopefully I did the trick. And as far as my mother's concerned, to be honest with you, it's not really of my concern it's between my mother and brother. However, as a sister, that's what I felt. Uh, no criticism, just an observation. So I so wish to go into a recommendation. I was going to do this in a previous vlog and I decided that I was too tired that evening to continue. So I deleted that message and I'm going to do something similar tonight because I'm not as tired as I was that evening or night it was more night so if I if my recommendation is of any value to you I recommend the Savoy Hotel and Theatre Charing Cross area um, what is quite pleasant is for one to have a nice tea in the Savoy Hotel. And I wish to say, I had a tea and it cost me about five pounds, five sterling pounds, just a cup of tea with a little bit of biscuits, about three little biscuits. And I think for the Savoy Hotel, that's very good. Oh, someone's ringing me, bear with me, please. Hello? Sorry about that, I don't know who that was phoning me. Um, yes, so, um, I rec yes, I recommend it because it's inexpensive and one has the luxury of being in the Savoy Hotel, a very luxurious and usually, depending upon what one has, expensive and very, excuse my expression please, classy place was very, pretty I thought inside and um, then if you can afford it if you have money allows you then one can go to the theatre afterwards or before and that's just next door at the Savoy Theatre and I've seen more than one performance at that theatre and it's lovely inside I thought it was I enjoyed it myself personally and I think that's probably quite a nice evening out oh evening stroke night out then if you so wish to have dinner out there's Chinatown very close by you know, one just crosses 
uh, Charing Cross and goes towards Leicester Square, which is a little bit of a walk, about a 10 minute walk, depending upon how powerful your legs are. And then Leicester Square is just next door to Tottenham Court Road. And it's in between Leicester Square and Tottenham Court Road, approximately, is Chinatown. I like Wong Kai, the, 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 the restaurant Wong Kai. Um, I like it very much. <clears throat> um, I have a funny um, issue. Um, that place, Wong Kai, the Chinese restaurant, I've been eating at that place on and off for about... Uh, 35, 40 years, and maybe not quite that much, maybe 30 years. And um, they used to, the staff used to be very impolite inside. And I'll give you one example. I asked for some napkins once, and there was a waiter opposite to me, I think speaking in Chinese in a very sort of seemed aggressive manner, and then just pushed and threw the um, napkins onto my lap and I turned around to my friend and we both laughed like crazy. It was quite nice and entertaining. They are much more polite now. <laughs> I think probably some words was, were said. So for entertainment if they are going to be still impolite but I don't think they are going to be and very good food, very good value, very very reasonable price wise. For example, I mean, I haven't been there for a while, but when I was last there, uh, when was that, please? It was just, it was after lockdown, I think. And the prices were still very affordable, a meal for about seven pounds. That's not bad these days, you know. Duck and rice with a bit of Chinese cabbage, I think. And then there's also the ice cream place in Leicester Square. Uh, I don't know if it continues to exist. I did used to like to go there when I was in Leicester Square area. Lovely ice cream place, looking very pr brand new when I was there. Um, that's about 20 years ago. Um, very clean, very tidy, very substantial in size, in my opinion, substantial. And so much choice of different flavors, maybe 30 or 40 choices. And then also one could have all sorts of various sizes and different types of sweets to have on the ice cream and sauces, whatever, I think. And it was just really, just to be all concise, just a very pleasant and tidy and clean and fine chi um, not trying to sound ice cream place and I just so wish to go through a little bit of information for you for the first time I tried a macaroon about a week ago in fact I bought them from I think Morrison's and they lasted me a day or so I think because I had the whole packet <laughs> um, they were delicious, I enjoyed them very much, uh, don't mind saying. And again, if my recommendation is of any value to you, I recommend you try a macaroon or two, so to speak. Um, I am gonna leave it at that because I just wanted to do a vlog, which as you know, I hope, that I wanted to do before. So sorry I didn't do it before. I hope you enjoyed it this evening or are enjoying it this evening. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Please start, um, like and subscribe and please take care of yourself and of one another. Lots of love, shalom, which means hello, peace, and in Hebrew, goodbye. Thank you. Bye-bye.